Well, it's not clear yet in my mind because of two, two issues. Number one, we're seeing lots and lots of students registering for MOOCs, but not necessarily finishing them. Okay, that's one of the issues. The finishing rate might be a few percent at most. But the second thing I think is the quest question of credit. Uh, will universities accept credit for it or not? And I think those are the two issues that have to be resolved before MOOCs as they stand uh, will, uh, will be more important. On the other hand, I think uh, if MOOCs are readily available to faculty to use portions of, they may use portions of them uh, if they're copyright free in their own courses as they flip classrooms. I see it impacting a lot of curriculum logistics in universities across the world actually. So in that regard, logistically, etc., I think it will have an impact. I don't think it's going to impact scores on the NC fundamentals, etc. I, I think it's a wash. And uh, I do see kind of a long-term push for the infrastructure at the universities to change their business model of how, how we work, that kind of thing. But I don't know what that's going to be, so I'm as interested as the rest of the world to find out how it's going to turn out. I think in the next five years what it's going to do is it's going to offer opportunities for people who wouldn't normally have access to that kind of learning material um, to have access to it. Um, I think it will broaden the field as far as uh, expertise uh, to just the general public. And, I, and again, I think it'll just add, I think it'll just allow people opportunities they didn't have to, they didn't have before.